This is the cost of a conflict that most of the world knows nothing about. 89 body bags, soldiers from Niger's army killed in an attack at an army base in Shinagodar, close to the border with Mali. No one has yet claimed responsibility, but a number of armed groups are active here. And violence across West Africa's Sahel region has been increasing. Last month, 71 soldiers were killed in an attack near Niger's border with Mali and Burkina Faso. Some believe the conflict in Libya is worsening problems across the region. After the collapse of the Libyan state, uh, after the, the war, NATO, uh, head, headed by France, started in Libya, that's why, that's when started all the problems in the Sahel because they came with heavy arms and they started to attack countries like Mali, Niger, Burkina Faso, uh, and those countries are too poor to face uh, the, the terrorists who are fighting them. And French President Emmanuel Macron is expected to host leaders from the region on Monday, where they will most likely discuss the future of France's military presence in the Sahel. We need to have a military answer because we need to eradicate uh, those jihadists and terrorism also. But it won't be enough because we need to bring also social answers. Elsewhere in the region, Boko Haram has also stepped up attacks on the military and civilians in the lectured area. Experts believe that along with a military solution, governments in the region must do more to address poverty that's pushing more young men to join the armed groups. The United Nations estimates half a million people have been displaced in the region because of the violence. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Niamey, Niger.